In spite of all of this, there are many in the world today who are either not aware of or do not believe in the precious gift Jesus Christ has given us. They may have heard of Jesus Christ and know of him as a historical figure, but they do not see him for who he truly is. When I think of this, I am reminded of this Savior standing before the Roman prefect of Judea, Pontius Pilate, just a few hours before the Savior's death. Pilate viewed Jesus from a strictly worldly perspective. Pilate had a job to do, and it involved two major tasks, collecting taxes for Rome and keeping the peace. Now, the Jewish Sanhedrin had brought before him a man who they claimed was an obstacle to both. After interrogating his prisoner, Pilate announced, I find in him no fault at all. But he felt he had to appease Jesus' accusers, so Pilate called upon a local custom that allowed one prisoner to be released during Passover season. Would they not have him release Jesus instead of the notorious robber and murderer Barabbas? But the tumultuous mob demanded that Pilate release Barabbas and crucify Jesus. Why, Pilate asked, what evil has he done? But they only shouted the louder, crucify him. In one final effort to satisfy the mob, Pilate ordered his men to scourge Jesus. This they did leaving him bloodied and bruised. They mocked him, placed him a crown of thorns on his head, and clothed him in a purple robe. Perhaps Pilate thought this would satisfy the mob's lust for blood. Perhaps they would take pity on the man. Behold, I bring him forth to you, Pilate said, that ye may know that I find no fault in him, Behold the man, the Son of God, stood in the flesh before the people of Jerusalem. They could see Jesus, but they did not truly behold him. They did not have eyes to see. In a figurative sense, we too are invited to behold the man. Opinions about him vary in the world. Ancient and modern prophets testify that he is the Son of God. I do this too. It is significant and important that we each come to know for ourselves. So when you ponder the life and ministry of Jesus Christ, what do you see? Those who find a way to truly behold the man find the doorway to life's greatest joys and the balm to life's most demanding despairs. So when you're encompassed by sorrows and grief, behold the man. When you feel lost or forgotten, behold the man. When you are despairing, deserted, doubting, damaged, or defeated, behold the man. He will comfort you. He will heal you and give meaning to your journey. He will pour out his spirit and fill your heart with exceeding joy. 